What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna to be breaking down how to run a perfect post corner route. So this is a video that you guys requested yesterday, so I hope this video gives you guys some value on just the ins and outs of this double move and we're gonna be breaking down some common mistakes on this move from a second clip, okay? So I hope this video gives you guys some value, but also fellas, if you're a receiver and you wanna get stronger, faster, more explosive, check out that very first link in the description for a 28 day wide receiver gym training program. It's a specific step-by-step -step program to help you guys become more explosive, faster receivers with specific exercises exercises designed for the receiver position. You're not going to be lifting like linebackers, linemen. You're going to be training for explosion and performance on the field. So check out that very first link in the description. Let's get started. So this video right here, this post corner right here, this clip, I should say, great example of what you need to be able to do on the post stem. Okay. So now we're going to be looking at Devonte Adams second and some a mistake that he made on this route that could have gotten him a little bit more separation, but we're going to talk about the positive things first. So then I can show you guys the negative. So when we come off here and we're running a post corner, right, especially against press coverage inside release again on post corner it is is you could do either or right a lot of people ask me hey should i take an inside release on post corner should i take an outside release post corner you could do either one right but then this case we're going to be looking at an inside release because i feel like that's the most tricky because he's going to be trailing your back hip so you really got to sell post to get him to be greedy and undercut the route right so now when i come up here the main keys is the end of the post stem you guys are fast we're making it all look like a post obviously right because it's a double move so everything about this initial post break has got to look the exact same i got to look like i'm pushing vertical i got to look like i'm going to be actually breaking off to the post. Eyes got to be forward. So that brings me to the three points to get you separation, the three points of attack. When you make this break to the post, again, very sudden break. I'm not rounding into it. I'm not lazy. I'm making it look like I'm running an actual post. Now, those that break to the post route, to get this guy to undercut it, he's got to believe that you're getting the ball, right? So what are the things that you think you need to do? His eyes are a little high. He shouldn't be focused on here. He should be focused on those hips, right? But when I break to this post and I snap this thing off, you see what's the first thing that snaps around? Eyes. Now what's committed? His shoulders and his hips are committed and he's got speed into this break. So let me tell you something about a double move. From a DB perspective, especially if maybe you're like out of the slot and you got to run this on like a safety, for example. Like let's say it's a too high safety look. You got like backside, your option is you could run a post corner, you go corner post, whatever it is, some kind of double move, you got to make that dude believe it to get him to jump it, right? So what we do to make this guy believe it, it's got to be the three points. Now that brings me to my point. If that DB can feel you slow down, because that DB should be watching your hips in this case, if he feels you slowing down, he feels your change of speed, he knows you're not getting the ball. Because who in their right mind is running a post wants the quarterback to throw them right there, but they're jogging on this portion, right? So you got to make it look the same. You got to make it feel the same for when that DB is running hip to hip with you. If you can make it feel the same, you break to the post, you actually have some speed there, quarterback gets the ball out, right that's that's how you make it look the same right so now it's got to it's got to feel that way for the db like i said and it's got to look the part so your eyes got to go shoulders and hips got to go that's a mistake a lot of guys will do they'll have speed into the break but their eyes will be at the floor if i'm a db i know you ain't getting the ball because you're not you're looking at the floor i'm going to be expecting you to break this thing back to the corner right so if you change speed or your eyes are on the floor that's an indicator to this db that you're not getting the ball in the post now the other thing this is the mistake that a lot of people don't emphasize because a lot of people just emphasize eyes and speed they don't focus on anything else they don't focus on actually driving your arms. They don't focus on this is the main one, your hips and your shoulders on the break. What a lot of guys will do is they'll break to the post, but their shoulders and hips are drifting this way. They're already drifting back to the corner. That's not actually selling the route. That's not selling the route well enough. You want to make sure that you're actually committing your shoulders, actually committing your hips on this post break. So that gets that DB to want to undercut it, right? So you got to fully commit. Now this comes from when you're doing drills, like you're doing any kind of like cutting drill, right? You break for three steps, bam, it's very sudden, right? You see how sudden that break is? That that sudden cut is what will get you back to that 45 on that corner. It's not going to be a soft break. You don't want to reach out for it and lean back because that's another mistake that guys will make. What guys will do is they'll break to the post. They'll take three hard steps. They'll go one, two, and then on the third one, they'll reach way out. They'll reach for the cut. Then they start to lean back. And if I'm a DB and I feel you start to lean back, I'm going to drop my hips. I'm going to try to open up and I'm going to turn on this thing and be all over this corner route. So it's very important that you keep until the last possible second for three steps. One, two, bam. Three, it's got to be a sudden cut. It's got to really pop in the grass because that sudden cut is what decelerates you. A lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people think that this cut is just a sake to cut. That cut will decelerate you, but also it's not even necessarily about decelerating. It's about creating energy. Popping that foot in the ground while being sudden because that will help you change direction, but it will give you that explosion back to that corner break. Now, this is where a lot of guys make or break. They'll be here. They'll commit their shoulders. They'll commit their hips on the post. They'll have speed. They pop this thing off and then they cruise. They feel that this guy jumped underneath and then they'll cruise out of the 
another break. You got to continue to pump those arms, use the explosion off of that cut to shoot you back to that corner portion of this route so you could widen the distance from this DB. Anybody can get separation. You guys need to know that. Anybody can get it, but can you keep it? Can you keep that separation? Continue to run those arms, continue to drive those legs and get back on that 45. And that's exactly what this receiver does to be able to make that play. It's a great job here. Let's watch this thing again, full speed one more time. Great job doing all three points of attack, being sudden with that cut foot, using that cut foot to shoot you back to the outside and give you that explosion and be able to decelerate you when you're running full speed. When you have that drift on the post portion of this, like you're like, let's say in this case, you're on the left side, breaking to the right, your left shoulder and left hip are turning up field already, turning a little too soon that cut's going to be soft. you got to make sure that you're committed to it. You have speed, so that cut is a harder cut. Let's watch it again full speed. So great job breaking off. Bam, one, two, three. Pop this thing off. Make sure we use that cut to accelerate so I can get out of this break. All right, so we're going to be looking at this rider from Devontae Adams. So I think the big thing that could have gotten him a little bit more separation right here, DB just played this thing a little poorly. If he would have played this maybe a little bit better, it wouldn't have been as much separation because I knew this was, a, if I'm a DB, I knew this was a post corner the whole way, right? Just simply because of what I was talking about, there was wasn't much speed into the break. So you watch it full speed. You see how like there's a speed change to the post portion of this. Like he breaks off right here and it's just kind of like a one, two, three. Like it's not, it's, it's not like an explosive burst to the inside. Now, right. Who the hell am I to cr critique Devonte Adams? Cause he's the best route runner in the league, but he would have gotten more separation if he would have actually ran. You know what I mean? If he would have actually bursted out of the break, he broke and he had those three explosive steps because he did everything right. He went eyes to the post, right? He went eyes to the post. Hips and shoulders are to the post. Just needs a little bit more speed out of that thing to make sure that that DB wants to bite on it because his eyes are in the backfield. Imagine if we had a little bit more speed on this break and I really bursted on this post. This dude would have fully undercut this thing and jumped more than he already did, right? But because I broke this thing off and I didn't really sell this thing, I didn't get him to commit and bite and try to get greedy he was in not a horrible position to make this play right Rodgers just put this thing on a perfect spot and kind of faded him upfield away from this db but if he would have put this thing maybe a little if this was more of a design throw to be on a line that db would have been all over it he wouldn't have gotten a ton of separation simply because there wasn't that burst you guys got to make sure that when you guys break from the post or break from the post break to those three steps there's a burst you have some speed and you're sudden with that break adam is a great route runner and again we got to make sure that we're not chopping my steps. I'm not slowing myself down. I'm in full stride because, DM, when that DB feels that speed change, he's not going to bite on the post as much as he should be, right? Eyes, commit those hips and shoulders. Really commit your speed there. Actually run on those three steps, then pop this thing off and get back to the corner, right? Okay, so I hope that gave you guys some value on what you guys need to be able to do to sell this actual post and not slow yourself down, right? But make sure that we're accelerating, obviously. And again, I only say this not to critique. I say this to help you guys out because this is what I see people struggle with every single day, right? We work double moves, out and up, sluggos. On that break portion, they will jog, they will cruise, they will chop their steps, right? Obviously, this is one of the best receivers to ever do it, right? So again, even they go, those guys make mistakes sometimes. Make sure that we're pushing. We actually have some speed on this thing. Now again, maybe on this route, he's trying to maybe change up a little bit of tempo, right? Maybe he's trying to kind of just come off cruise. Maybe it's a little bit of play action, like he's a backside defender, changing up the tempo, and then coming back to the corner. So that's a different story, right? But again, DB didn't get a ton of you didn't get a ton of separation from the DB on this play simply because we didn't have that burst. We didn't want to burst directly on that 45. That burst right there, selling like you're really getting the ball, will really make that DB overcommit. So watch this thing again, full speed one more time. It's coming off here. Break, one, two, three. Pop this thing off. Make sure we have some speed to that break. Don't change up that tempo. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave those in the comments below. I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And all right, and also, fellas, make sure that you get that one 28-day wide receiver gym training program, okay? There's only one program on my website specifically made for wide receivers in the gym specifically, and this is the one that I think will give you guys the most value in terms of explosion, speed, grip strength, overall route running. So check Check out that very first link in the description. Hope we can get you guys on that soon, and I'll see you guys next time.